it's it for you all right welcome to session number six this is one of my favorites because it talks about uh, the science and the scientist um uh, just setting up the perspective science and the scientist are really really important words when it comes to all your competitive exams like cat snap uh, gre gmat and all the banking exams uh, when, I, when I talk about science, science could be um, science could be anything related to animals, mammals. It could be as bad or as good as astronauts or the cosmonauts. So we're going to spend some time and learn the basic terminology because all these competitive exams love to test you in science because assuming that you all have studied your um, science basics in eighth and ninth standard. Let's get started. The first word of today is anthropo anthropo if you remember in couple of sessions before session number one and two we did anthropo anthropo means mankind so anthropology which is a study of mankind anthropology means study of mankind entomology entomology ento means pieces entomology means pieces anything which is related to insect or small part insect or small body parts is called as entomology or study of insect logy means study whenever i write the word entomology it always al always reminds me of a word called etymology you know what etymology etymological or etymology what we are trying to learn here is etymology etymology means breaking up the words breaking up the big words into small small sections or roots and understanding them etymology or etymological approach of learning words as i said we are learning etymological way of learning moving forward botany botany you know botany botany is study of plants zoology study of animals zoo means animal bot means plant that's easy that's straightforward uh, normally in your competitive exams this can go a little more tougher so i would recommend a couple of books in my reading comprehension sessions which you can go through a couple of links which you can go through for reading basics of botany we're not going to teach you biology or botany here agenda is to set the perspective right whenever you come across a zoology or a botanical reading comprehension which is very important you should be able to get into the perspective quickly moving forward semanticist this is also one of my uh, coolest ones semantics semantics the meanings the science behind the meaning of the word if you know google search if you do google search Google search is partly semantic, but Google search is mainly with the keywords. For example, if your grandfather is looking for pizza outlets in uh, in Mumbai or pizza outlet in Andheri in Mumbai or Andheri West at 3 a.m. in the night, do you think he feel like having a pizza at 3 a.m. in the night, your grandfather? No, 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 no. You got it. So what Google search is going to give you, he's going to give you the keyword search wherever the word Andheri or Mumbai or Andheri West and there's a word called Pizza, he's going to pop up that result. Google does not understand that your grandfather at 3 p.m. 3 a.m. in the night is not going to be looking for pizza to eat or a home delivery. He's just doing a research around that. So it means any search engine or any person who is going to go to the deeper meaning of that, it's called semanticist. There is a semantic based search. There was a website which came up a long back called cool.com. They used to pronounce it cool.com. I don't know whether this still exists or not, but cool.com, it is semantic based search. You know the, you, you type in, uh, the search engine is going to know the meaning and reply to you. Sociology, logy means study, socialist society. So whenever you come across society as, as, as a part of it, so the study of society, how the behavior of the people among a group of, um, um, a group of um, organization, how do they behave to each other, what's the, what's, what's the theories, what the hierarchies in them is all a part of society. Next one, cosmonaut, cosmos and astronaut. These words sound very familiar, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure you guys know the meaning or the difference between cosmonauts and astronauts. Um, cosmonauts is not, not means a sailor, a sailor. Cosmo means universe or cosmos, if you must have remembered that word. Cosmos is the root word for universe. Astro, derived from the word called asterisk. Asterix, asterix in your in your PCs, there's a star like this. This is called asterix, and also there's a flower like this. It's also called asterix flower. The word 
एस्टर मीन्स अ स्टार अ सेलर ऑफ द स्टार इज कॉल्ड एस्ट्रोनॉट अ यूनिवर्स सेलर इज कॉल्ड अ कॉस्मोनॉट सो गाय हु प्लेज अराउंड विद यूनिवर्स हु गो रिपेयर स्पेसशिप एक्सेट्रा ही कम्स इन द कॉस्मोनॉट कैटेगरी द गाय लाइक राकेश शर्मा ऑफ इंडिया हु वेंट टू मून दीज दीज ऑल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पीपल हु गो टू डिफरेंट प्लैनेट्स एंड स्टार्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज एस्ट्रोनॉट्स moving forward zodiac so all the zodiac sign it's pretty straight forward is called like your libra etc it's also linked to one of the sciences of that my favorite philologist do you remember the word called phil we did it about session number 3 i guess phil means love logy means study a quick test is it study of love or it is love of study is it study of love or is it love of study philologist phil means love logy means study take one second about 2 seconds of time you can pause the video and get to an answer okay so the answer is love of study any person who is interested in study or a language or logy is called as philologist so lover of a language or study is called as philologist All right sounds good so here we finished our quick one on session number 6 hope you enjoyed the session uh, i'm going to take about 30 second of time and i'm going to quickly summarize it